Hello everybody and welcome to the Thursday morning rush. I am your host. I am your host with the ghost. Do I have to mention my name? Okay, well for the people who are new to the site, new to the channel, new to the video, thank you for clicking the little button, the blue button that is my thumbnail. Um, I just completed one of those YouTube boot camps and thank you very much YouTube for offering those services to creators. Uh, any creators out there who'd like to do some sort of collaboration, a collab in our YouTube chit chat, um, get in touch, but anyway, anyway, welcome to new folks here coming to visit us here on our morning rush reading. This is, um, a little bit of tarot and spiritual strangeness just for you a little reading as I do it straight to the point uh, naturally not everything I say is directed at everyone but um, they say that readings are for your entertainment purposes only so if you want your money back oh well I think you're getting a good price here anyway, so. Anyway, like I said, this is a little reading before you rush out the door, ready to start your day. So grab your coffee, grab whatever it is that you grab before you go to work or school or whatever it is that you do during the daytime. And let's get ready for a little reading. Okay. Alrighty, we're ready. Let's see what's happening in your world today. That was a disclaimer. That's a disclaimer they use nowadays for your entertainment purposes only. Since things, certain things can not be done in front of controlled conditions at that very second. Controlled conditions where they run cameras, where people are watching you. Supposedly science people. But that's why they say for your entertainment purposes only these things that I do are not scientifically proven as of this time, but anyway, that's a different discussion, right? But let's see, um, today, Thursday, it looks like a pretty good day so far, uh, a little bit of disappointment. Um, Where's that disappointment coming in? Well, you know, like I said, you know, you're either at work or at school, and that's where it's coming from. It's not a personal disappointment. It's just some activity disappointment. Um, those of you who are punching the clock, uh, you got and, uh, and you got a supervisor. You know, let's say you're in manufacturing, production of some sort. Um, let's stay on the supervisor's uh, good side today because. Uh, well, what I'm thinking of, you know, the old saying was, well, it looks like they didn't get anything last night. Well, uh, it looks like your supervisor, your boss, your leader, your team lead might have a, uh, a issue today. They might be a little grumpy, so let's try to stay on the good side, okay? And, guys, men, males, uh, it looks like today is a pretty good day. I don't think you get everything done that you want to. You know, I get a um, sort of a cup half empty, half full type of thing. So uh, it could be a worse day. It, this is in activities and work, you know, in the, your schoolwork or, you know, it depends, you know, on what you're doing today. You know, some sort of activity that you're involved in, you might not complete it. Um, if you get multiple activities, well then this is a half full, half empty type of thing. Well, it looks like you're going to accomplish a lot of things, but then, you know, some things, you know, just going to have to uh, continue tomorrow or work later in the day. And if you're a salary type of person, you know, this is for male and females, you know, that part, you know, you're going to accomplish some things and some things you won't accomplish. And you might have to work later in the day. That's for male and females. So, 
Ladies and gents of all ages, yes, all ages, you know, it looks like you won't complete everything that you wanted to. And, uh, some of you have some sort of meeting about some situation that arose in the past, not today. Uh, some sort of, uh, um, well, you know, that, that's what it looks like, you know, something from the past, some situation that happened. You're going to be meeting today, and it looks like a lot of you, um, the meeting will turn out to your favor. Uh, okay. I'll remember the word I'm trying to use here shortly. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, you know. But, um, what else we got here? Uh, ladies and gents, it looks like some of your tasks today are going to be a little stressful. Okay, uh, this looks like it's going or leaning towards school, higher education. So I guess we're looking along lines of trade schools, colleges, universities, uh, people in that age area. <clears throat> I shouldn't even say age area. You know, people go to college, you know, at all different ages. But uh, uh, it looks like you're going to have some difficulty today, uh, some some of you are examining today some of you got an exam today well whatever i don't know when your semesters run you know but uh it seems a little early in the semester for exams but hey you know i'm not you i'm not there um looks like some of you will struggle and uh, if this is your first major test of the semester or the year uh looks like you'll probably pass but you Naturally, you know, you want to do better than you will, but sometimes just passing is good. Now, when I was in college, I had a class or two that I was just glad to pass, you know. And, uh, so, yeah, so uh, that's a half empty, half full type of thing, too, uh, you know. You know, you worry about even passing, and uh, then you do pass, and that's like, holy smokes, yay, you know. So, like okay, I had this one, one professor, I went there. And, well, I got a C on an exam, and I was like, yay, finally, you know, because it took me three times to get through this one course, and don't give up, don't give up, that's, that's the thing why I say, you know, I took it three times, but yeah, you know, I go up to the guy, you know, and shake their hand, and, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know, yippee, you know, I can move on, you know, just because I got a C, and I was just happy to pass, you know, and I moved on, and went on to bigger, better things, right? So, anyway, let's do another set, or get ready, we'll start sh uh, shuffling. Set, a spread, a set, a spread is how I lay out the cards. I use a five card spread, I developed that spread about 20 something years ago. I'm now 30 something, but uh, no, no, 20 something, because uh, I developed that spread when telephone psychic no, no, I'm thinking, of, why don't I start that? I, you know, I was a telephone psychic for a while there. Hello, my name is Charles. Can I have your name and date of birth? You know, get that before they start the reading. I don't know how they do it now. You know, but I might find out. You know, I might do a couple phone readings coming up. Not, not for, you know, not for like here on the, the web, folks. Well, I guess it is on the web, you know, but uh, not through YouTube or phone readings. For folks that are watching me, I'll do, I like to do Skype readings. But anyway, on that 20 years ago, I developed that, that five card spread. You know, one card was pretty boring. Uh, two cards, nah, it didn't really work. Three cards, you know, past, present, future type of deals. Four cards were getting interesting, and five cards felt just right. So, anyway, one more shuffle. Let's do another spread here for Thursday. Your Thursday morning rush. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, 20 something years ago, I think I did the telephone psychics. And 94, 93, 94, way back in the beginning, telephone psychics, as far as I know, it was the beginning. Hmm. What else we got? 
Ah, it looks like it's a good day for loving. Loving for, oh, especially for the ladies. Hmm. Well, if you're a lady, you know, you gotta have a guy. But then again, no, not necessarily, right? But it looks like a good day for you ladies in the love department. I'm not gonna get too in-depth with that. Maybe I'll just leave it at that because I'm about ready to do the love readings, okay? And, uh, don't forget to tune back in. You know, I'm gonna start with the uh, Aquarius. Love for 2016, September. And, let's see, uh, also in the ladies' love department, your partner might not uh, offer some sort of information to you. Uh, we just get them being a little quiet for some reason. Um, again, uh, well, I say this reason is not due to you. So it's not your fault that your, your partner is a little introverted for some reason right here. Now, why is that happening? Partner seems to be worrying about money. That's what it is. I see the old dollar sign. Well, I guess, you know, money's the object of the hunt nowadays. And uh, when you don't got it, I guess, it, well, we know it puts that added stress on you. And added stress within the relationship. But anyway, let's leave it there. Your, your partner's going to be a little introverted today. Um, but you'll get over it. Alrighty, uh, ladies, be cautious of an older female who might be um, trying to give you some sort of advice that you really don't need right now. It might be some sort of life advice. Alright, this isn't coming up at work, so it looks like it's very... It's in your personal department. Uh, this woman means well, but, you know, it's falling into that category. Well, if their life is so good, which it's not, you know, where are they or why are they trying to offer you advice? But anyway, he, you know, heed the warning, heed the caution that this person might be coming to you. Um, ladies again, ladies, if it... If you have the opportunity to go out to lunch today, whether you're at work or even at home, um, no, 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 I'm feeling the uh, presence of young ones, little ones, so that might be why you're at home. But anyway, if you have the chance to leave the homestead and go out to lunch, it looks like that will be an added reward for you today, and you deserve it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we go to another financial spot, and it looks like today, Thursday, some of you getting paid today or something. I get a financial increase. That's why I'm, I'm wondering about that. So, financial increase, that's good. That's cool. That can't hurt. That's for sure. Nowadays, you know, you, you need that money. Remember what I said? You know, that's the object of the hunt nowadays. It's, you know, it's like... The energy exchange, to me, it's an energy exchange. It's a spiritual thing, but it's written as riches is the type of energy exchange to folks like me. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the uh, general part of the reading. And I am feeling for traffic, this, that, what are you going to experience today? Um, check your tires, check your tires. I just saw low tires somewhere in your, well, of course, on your vehicle, but I, I, I see at least a low tire on a lot of things. You know, I don't know why these little visions pop up, you know, when you think about things. And Okay, so I so saw low tires, watch your gas, don't get stuck in traffic without enough gas. So if you got to stop for a few dollars of gas, we'll do it. And, well, so yeah, I see weather. Uh, some of you are having too much weather lately. So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, you know, water weather, I'm feeling. And, well, anyway, remember to like the video, leave comments, um, remember to please subscribe by clicking that little box right down there that has a picture of me on it. It says, Subscribe Mystic Charles. And, don't forget.
forget, you can always click right there. Click here to subscribe. And I appreciate everybody who does subscribe, subscribes, and to me, you know, because we're here on YouTube, when you click that subscribe button, it's sort of like the energy exchange all in itself. And thank you everybody for leaving comments. I enjoy seeing them. And let's keep it clean. And share the video where you can, okay? Uh, copy the address, post it on your social networks, or click that share button and you see all those little social networks and such pop up and you can share it that way and you have some like-minded individuals around you well let them know about our channel like share subscribe reading is done bye